Okay, so if you can see here, this is where it's ripped, and then it's also ripped uh, right about there. Okay, you can kind of get an idea, and water does get in there. Alright guys, so I want to do a short video on a um, on my boundary boots. So um, I started noticing that my my feet were starting to get wet, and I know that it's kayak fishing and you get wet, and but I don't like my feet to get wet. I uh, anyway, so I, I use boundary boots. I use the NRS boundary boots, and uh, fantastic boots. Um, if you if if you're thinking about getting them. Um, get them because they're they are they are excellent boots and um i just love them now i've had mine for uh probably three a little over three years now i guess and um one of the things that uh one of the things that you do is when you're done with them you take them off right okay well i don't they actually have a little pull tab to help you take them off. Eventually, you rip that off. I rip one of them off. So the next step is typically what you do is you put your your other foot on the heel and you pull it off like a regular shoe. Well, over time that stretches in and back and forth, stretches back and forth. Well, it gets a uh, it's it rips. So mine started mine ripped and you start getting you start getting water in there. So still great boots. And um, I actually ordered a new pair um, because I because I I really think they're awesome boots. But a friend of mine, Oscar Alvarado, actually hooked me up with a uh, a rubber cement. So I was going to do a little tutorial on how to do that right now and uh, give you an idea of what's already happened and um, see how it works out. Okay, so if you can see here, this is where it's ripped, and then it's also ripped uh, right about there. Okay, you can kind of get an idea. And water does get in there, and I think it's actually coming in through this one, because um, it's a lot thinner. So, what, I, what uh, Oscar hooked me up with is this stuff right here. It's a uh, gear aid. It's uh, aqua seal and neo contact cement. So it's actually it's actually a uh, special cement for neoprene, and that's what the boundary boots are neoprene. So let's see what the instructions are here. Aqua seal plus neo make fast elastic repairs to neoprene wetsuits dry suits boots gloves replace dry suit seals and gaskets bonds to neoprene rubber and latex flexible fast acting permanent and durable now that's that's what we want so let's see instructions number one clean and dry clean and dry the surface shake well huh and shake well Number two, apply cement on both edges of the tear and dry for five minutes. Apply a second coat and dry for 10 minutes. Press and hold edges together and store in cool and dry place. So, let me get set up and that's what we're going to do. 
hopefully uh hopefully this this works out and i'll have two pairs and just kind of swap them out as one dries or or whatever let's get to it all right so i cleaned uh I cleaned the dirt out of these areas so let's go ahead and uh set let's do this side first it's it's not actually leaking but then we'll do this one so i did shake it there is there is some uh movement inside there okay so it says to apply to both sides so we'll do Kind of stick it in there. It's actually pretty liquidy, more liquidy than I expected. Okay, so it's almost like a it's it's uh it flows <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and apply it to both sides and see if i can make it see if i can make it look a little nicer alexa set timer for five minutes five minutes starting now alexa stop all right so that is five minutes. We're gonna have, we're gonna go ahead and apply the second coat and let it sit for, for 10. Okay, so I know it's not, I know it's not pretty. This is 10 minutes later. Um, I don't know if I just put too much, but it's a little bit wet. But I went ahead and, and sealed some other little areas on both of the, uh, on both of the boots just little areas that had come up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it go ahead and sit overnight not goat head I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit overnight and um, but it seems pretty flexible I mean I just touched it a little bit and um, I think that's gonna work out pretty good so I'm gonna let it sit overnight and I will get back to you tomorrow and and uh, I bet you I bet you it's gonna work all right until next time all right so i wanted to show you how it turned out i mean you'd never know that that was torn i mean i'm you remember me pressing on it before yeah I, that, that's uh that's pretty awesome i mean it's not necessarily pretty but that looks pretty darn good. I ain't going nowhere. So I will try it out. And. Uh, confirm that. That that it doesn't leak. But I. I mean I can't even tell. I can't even tell that that was ever tore. It just looks like it. I got some something on it. Man that looks good. Well, cool man. So uh. Yeah, you get holes in it or in some neoprene, your waders, some neoprene waders or anything like that. This is the stuff to go to do, and I'll put that. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, uh, thanks, Oscar, for recommending this stuff. Tight lines, guys. Let's go fishing.